Hi, YouTube. So it's been like so cold lately and it's making me wonder if we're going into like some kind of ice age or something like a grand solar minimum. And I know what you're probably thinking, well, why don't you put some clothes on? But you know, it was date night tonight and I just got done with two clients and I honestly, I just want to get my clothes off and get into a hot shower and get warm. And it's, and I, even though, even though I have the heat on my hands are like ice cubes, even my clients said my hands were super cold and I hate cold climates. And I feel like I really have no real options because if I go south, I have to worry about floods, hurricanes, tornadoes, you know, and I don't want to put up with having to evacuate every time hurricane season comes. And I don't know. I don't, I don't really see much, many options really in the U.S. or anywhere. I mean, well, maybe the Mediterranean. I was thinking about how I would kind of maybe want to travel to Malta because it's a little island in the Mediterranean and I imagine it doesn't get real cold there and they're pretty friendly as far as letting people uh, immigrate, especially people like English speaking for some reason. It's an English speaking, you know, island and yeah, but um, I don't know. I don't know when I'll be able to go there. Um, hopefully soon and check it out. But yeah, they, they say that our earth is like in the Goldilocks zone, but I kind of disagree. I think we're more like on the edge, like we're living, our planet is like on the edge of the Goldilocks zone is how I see it because most the world is very, very cold or very much too hot or just very unfriendly, let's just say, to life because of volcanoes or what have you. Oh, and speaking of volcanoes, have you noticed that there's been a lot of different volcanoes going off more than usual? And that's the other reason why I kind of think we're heading into some kind of grand solar minimum. And it would only take one real big volcano to go off to cause another ice age. Maybe that is what causes them. Who knows? We don't know that much. People think they know, but they don't really know. And as far as I'm concerned, all the climate change scientists, they're just advertising for, for, tax, for more tax. They're just like the advertisers for, for government to tax. It's like as if, as if tax is going to, as if taking our money is going to stop climate change. It's bullshit. But anyway, I was just thinking like, we really must just live on the edge of the Goldilocks zone. And I feel like an ice age could just like happen anytime because we're always there, right there on the edge. And so many people in this world live pretty much on the edge, meaning they're just getting by, they're just surviving, they're paycheck to paycheck, you know, and I don't know how people do it, really, I don't. I mean, I, I do pretty well, but still I'm not, like wealthy or anything. I don't think so. I can't retire. I don't think I can ever retire. I'm always going to have to be doing what I do and seeing clients all the time because I, um, I had to make a choice at some point in my life. And that was, do I want to be a millionaire and be stuck out in the middle of a desert and work for somebody else and be sleep? have sleep deprivation because they don't let you sleep because they you're working 24 seven and have brain damage from not being able to get enough sleep and, and, and not get, being able to get, you know, um, organic, healthy food. And do I, is that really worth it? I mean, even if I can make a million dollars a year, is that really worth it? I mean, what would I do with a million dollars a year if my whole life was spent in the middle of a desert, you know, and, in, in Nevada, in the middle of a desert in, the, in Nevada, working for somebody else, what kind of life would that be? I mean, sure, I could take maybe once in a while, take a few weeks off or maybe even a month or two off and, 
travel or something, but still, then I'd go right back to work again. And again, I would get no sleep because that bell is always ringing all night long. And sometimes you just don't get no sleep. And that's just the way it is because you can't have a like nine to five, like in Melbourne, Australia, where you can go work, work a few hours, work five hours, work whatever, eight hours if you want and go home and go to sleep. It's not like that in Nevada. You're, you're like stuck out there like a concentration camp. Can't really do much. You can't really leave and you're just there. So I made up my mind a long time ago that I didn't want that life. And now here I am thinking, well, maybe if I had done that, I would I could have been retired by now. I would have had all this money and I could have bought prop, rental properties and I could have pretty much lived wherever in the world I want and not ever have to worry about money. But you know, here I am. And I don't know. Um, sometimes I think maybe I should at least tried, but easier said than done. Because even now, no, I wouldn't want to go back there. Because again, I have to have at least eight to nine hours sleep a night. I can't just keep getting woken up. Anyway, it's just a little thought for, for tonight. Take care.